yeah, music to me is absolute meditation when I'm with music or as a dancer or DJing. It's just I'm fully immersed, which is not something that I'm able to achieve in other areas of life normally. So music to me is full meditation and immersion of being in the present. Hi, uh, yeah, so my name is Carmen Electro and I'm a Finnish DJ and I'm currently living in Berlin. But yeah, I come from Finland, the land of ice. And uh, yeah, I'm a music lover, uh, actually a dancer turned DJ because I got to know techno a long time ago as a dancer and then transitioned to behind the decks. And uh, besides DJing, I'm also doing music journalism, so I actually speak to a lot of artists um, so it's actually kind of funny to be on the side of the camera here in India out of all places um, but yeah super happy to be here and thanks for the chance to speak to you so yeah like the thing is that um, I'm from Finland and in Finland most of people listen to like harder music styles also more like metal absolutely not so much on the electronic side but my mom I remember very vividly when I was young my mom was super into Latin music she used to go to like dance classes with uh, Latin music and me and my sister we were super young um, so she would bring with us because it was on the weekends and she would listen to like a lot of like salsa and cha cha and like these kind of genres and uh, I did not personally listen to these kind of genres growing up but I can really see like my interest in tribal and old school really like borrows from this like Latin American style even though like personally I'm not from there but um, so my interest for techno definitely came from my time of living in London and then it's definitely super strongly today tied together with this like old school Latin influence which to me is like tribal and um, yeah like more vocally uh, tribally I don't know vocally tribally tracks that doesn't sound so great but uh, I, and it's actually, this is a good question because as I listen to music now, I really find myself, especially today, listening to tracks that I would have listened to like 15 years ago growing up. And it's absolutely no, none of the genres that I would, I would listen to now. But as I li visit those, whether it's like Finnish pop or yeah, like Latin tracks like Ricky Martin, although Ricky Martin is trouble, I'm not supporting him right now. Um, I, yeah, it's just like I find the impact of what you hear in those like formative years of being like from six to 12. It's like really crazy how it affects your music taste today. And for me, it definitely is the same. So I, I really, I like every kind of music that makes you move your hips. And therefore, even though like, yeah, techno is the one for me, like, I, that's why I often opt out for the groovy techno because anything that makes you want to go like this eight shape with your hips, like then I'm there. So yeah, my mom, thanks for going to buy Latino when like I was like eight and thanks for bringing me there and making me wait because like yeah, it's definitely made me dig for these old school records now. <laughs> so for me, it's actually the thing is I always felt the need to have a creative output so I've always done different things like in the past I was doing arts I was doing dancing and it wasn't until I discovered electronic music that I really realized that this particular format really resonates with me and I absolutely love producing because to me it's like the most immersive way of um, outsourcing my creativity and it's actually like one of the things that in today's like distracted society like once I open Ableton and I produce most in Ableton, I don't have so much uh, hardware. Um, I can be stuck for hours and absolutely just forget about everything. And it, I mean, it is like DJing, but it's different in a sense because you're fully in control. Whereas to me, DJing is more like improvisation and feeling other energies. Whereas I feel like producing is about feeling my own energy and when I want to go. So it's very like internal process without any external outputs. Um, but I absolutely, I love doing it. And also because I'm quite new to producing, it's still like, it feels like I'm learning a lot. And in life in general, I love learning new things. So it gives me a kick to every track that I make, it feels like, you know, I learned something new. So it gives like a internal accomplishment feeling. And of course, like as a, as a musician, 
as much as I love DJing, I also want to leave like a more like permanent mark um, of myself in the music scene and also like as a DJ combine all of the different flavors that I bring into my sets into my music, uh, which I'm still learning to do how to do that because I'm not that far. But uh, yeah, I, I would say like it's with music production, it's a rather like hedonistic goal of just being able to execute myself in purely from my perspective. Like nobody else is telling me what to do and it's super immersive and I don't think about anything else and it's just an excellent way of yeah, being with myself and spending time with myself without any distractions whatsoever. Um, I mean, to me it was really, really, really special to play here tonight because um, I feel that from the people that I've met since I came to India, I have the have strongest connection with the people from Bangalore, all of the promoters, um, all of you guys that I've met here, it's been absolutely amazing to spend time with you and share insights to music and share our passion together. Um, also because I come from a country, so I'm from Finland, uh, where the techno scene is still in its very infancy. I know that those parties where it's necessarily not the biggest stage or like the biggest venue, but when you play your tunes and you look at people, you can see how much they needed this and how much they were craving for this and how much they're in it with their full fucking heart. Sorry, as a fuck. Uh, that to me is like that satisfaction to the top, to the max. Also, like the the techniques here, well, the techniques not the turntables. But like the technicality aspect of vinyl, even in Europe, it's challenging sometimes. But tonight everything was worked perfectly, the booth was super clear, really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, it really like, it did like exceed my expectations in a way that people were so engaged. Because also in Europe, like I play a lot of gigs where people like it, but I can see that they're also they're not as engaged as what they were tonight and I really like could feel the energy from people that they were really enjoying it with me and I feel like as a DJ it's like super important not just to serve it to yourself but really to make this connection with the people and feel it together and that's where the magic happens it's like when you all of us all of you are feeling it together that's like yeah it's absolutely amazing so like having achieved that tonight to me was an absolute highlight of my stay here so far and thank you guys for organizing it all so well like yeah I really enjoyed it like yeah I put my ex as a Finnish person in Finland we usually put our expectation pretty low to be happy in life and by the way Finnish people are the most happiest in the world because of this because we put our expectation low but it really like any expectation that I had exceeded it but I yeah fully enjoyed it with the crowd and I feel like we created a nice energy together so that's all that matters to me and uh, yeah it was great <laughs>